Hello everybody, it's me Pierre here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the HP Reverb G2. I'm going to show you it in a way uh, to be specific. So, okay. Let's say you're a person watching this video right now, and you have everything up and ready, and you're wondering why your room scale wasn't working, or, or your room setup isn't working because your head is supposed to be here, but it's here in the ground. Um, I'm going to explain why that is. So what you want to do is I'm going to put on my G2 just to show this, um, just to show it better. So you're going to take your HP Reverb G2, you're going to grab it like this, you're going to put it on your head, of course. So once it's on your head, you want to do something in your room. So let's say you're standing up and you're in the middle of your play space. You're perfectly in there. Before you do the room setup, do not do it yet. So when it's there, put on the headset. You will see that your head is in the ground in Steam VR, and it's sh it's showing you, oh, do the room setup. Don't do it just yet. Make sure you have the controllers on or off on, uh, sorry, on and just on the ground, uh, somewhere around you, and just take your head and move it. So you just look around your room. You just look around and you just keep looking around. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea, but you could try if your room is really big like mine. Uh, sometimes you gotta walk around and look around. Uh, just walk a little bit. Don't like go too far to your play space. Just look around enough where you get a, so the G2 can get a good idea. Do it for a minute or more. If your room is bigger, do it for more than a minute. But uh, if your room is small, one minute or a little over a minute should do the trick with you looking around. Make sure you look around nice and good. Get get in your g2 or your windows mixed reality headset uh used to your entire room layout and then you can continue with the setup now the setup is confusing because um i had someone reach out to me um saying that he didn't understand what it meant by base stations the setup that the hp reverb g2 is using is the setup you would use for a valve index or a vive pro being base station tracked headsets the base station that is behind me right now which is up there that you guys cannot see um the the g2 is using something like that let me explain that now um let's say my hand is the floor this is the floor you put your g2 on the floor put your controllers a little bit further away so the cameras can see the controllers keep them where the cameras can see it so keep your g2 on the floor this is how i do it Keep your G2 on the floor, then put your controllers on the floor. Alright? So when you put your G2 controllers on the floor, it's going to ask you to go next, and then it's going to ask you to pick up one of the controllers, make sure the cameras can still see it, so make sure you're in a position where the cameras of the headset can still see the controller. It's going to want you to aim the controller at wherever your monitor is, wherever your computer is, and hold the trigger and when you hold the trigger, there's going to be a little bar that goes up on the screen. Uh, and then once that's done, it's done. Uh, and then it's going to want you to draw your boundary. How to draw your boundary. Pick up your G2. Pick up your G2 controller. So make sure the cameras can see your G2. So hold it like this. Hold the one controller. And you go around your room. Hold the trigger. And draw your boundary. So walk around to your nearest walls and draw your boundary and just keep walking keep walking until you make a full circle and boom and then it'll make your little play space and then you should be done that should be done uh hopefully and then you should be able to put the headset on and play now if that didn't work and if you still have problems with your head either being in the ground or not exactly where it's supposed to be, where it's like it's just off by a little bit, there are ways to fix that uh, without needing to reset the entire uh, room setup again, um, which I can explain. Uh, I use something called FPS VR. FPS VR is extremely cheap on Steam. I think it's like three bucks where you can go into a setting and I think it's called your play space or your room setup or something like that you go into the settings find room setup or play space I can't remember which one it's called click on that and you can raise up and down your your viewpoint so you can raise yourself up or lower to fix your height and make sure you use your G2 controller do not do this with the hands by the way don't do this with the Steam VR hands. Do this in the Steam VR menu. So when you're in the menu, you can see your G2 controller. Make sure it's flush with the ground. So when you're going up and down, or if you need to go lower, um, make sure it, it it tracks with the ground nicely, instead of, so you don't actually have it a little too low, 
or a little too high up which is fine if it's like a little bit up like this or a little bit lower than this it shouldn't really affect much your avatar in vr chat might be just crouching just a little tiny bit um but uh, make sure your g2 controller is nice and flush with the ground when using fps vr so you can see that it's touching the ground nicely especially your ground in real life uh um yeah stuff like that so put your controller on the ground uh keep your hand on the ground and looking down at the controller and until the floor matches nicely with the controller uh that's how i do it with fps vr you probably could do this with ovr as, uh, as well i have not tested that but you could probably do that with ovr as well so that's the setup of the hp reverb g2 i hope this was clear i hope this explained it well i'll go over it really quick here again so put g2 on stand up so i'm gonna stand up so stand up in your room right you're in your room and you look and you look around with your head you take off headset after you're done looking around for about a minute or more you put it on the floor make sure the controllers are nearby where the cameras can see it pick up one of the controllers and hold the trigger to uh you to what your monitor your screen your wherever your computer is so it, you know has its anchor it knows where it is and then what you do is pick up the g2 and the controller and you walk around your room so like this you walk around and you draw your play space by holding the trigger of the controller the reason why you have to pick up the headset and the controller is because i ran into this problem because i was stupid you you literally can't draw your play space without your g2 seeing where you are especially how big my room is my room is massive i need to carry the g2 with me um, unless if your room is small, maybe you can get away with walking around with your room uh, your room with just the controller with the G2 seeing it. Um, you can also put the G2 on a on a table or like a small table or a stool if you want to do that too instead of just directly on the floor. Um, uh, that's usually how I do it for Windows. Uh, sorry, with base station tracked headsets. I don't know if that works with the G2 though. So um, yeah, that's the setup. <laughs> I hope this was clear. If it wasn't clear, please let me know in the uh, comments below and I'll try and go over it. I'm going to put the instructions to the HP Reverb G2 Oasis driver. Uh, well, this goes for all Windows Mixed Reality headsets. I know I keep saying G2, but this goes for all Windows Mixed Reality headsets. Um, you, I'm going to put in the description below his GitHub so you guys can follow the instructions there if I wasn't clear enough. Um, but yeah, that should be how you set up the G2 at least that's how i set it up um uh, with the help of matt a lot uh, or matthew i'm not sure exactly which uh matt he goes by uh, if it's just matt or if it's matthew i'm not sure um but uh yeah um yeah check out his github in the description below if you need more instructions on how to use the g2 or any windows Switch reality headset yeah i rant a lot um but yeah that's the setup that's the setup all right i hope this helped um yeah, this was me, Pira. Uh, stay cool. Um, hit that like if you like. Hit that dislike if you disliked. Also, don't forget to ring that bell icon so you don't miss any more my content. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. This was Pira. Stay cool. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye